Here's something else. Shabbat is very key for us. Shabbat is what's going to produce the healing move of God. Uh, Isaiah 58 says that. That if we don't get Shabbat, and I don't mean any legalistic thing, we're going to have to get where we learn there is a time. See, this is about time today. Where you have to look back at where you've come the last six days. Now, your Shabbat might be on Tuesday. I don't, I, I don't get into all that. But you're going to have to stop, reflect over seven, the last six days, and then let God reveal to you the next six days. That's really what Shabbat is. The easiest way to understand Shabbat, I've got several books that talk about it, is it's just a stop sign. You keep running your stop signs, and before long, you're going to have a crash. Now, that, that's just the easiest way to understand Shabbat. Shabbat is like a stop sign. Like, I have not taken Shabbat this week. But I will try to sometimes Monday. See, don't get legalistic that all of us have to shut down everything and don't at all be like Israel. They will stand in front of the elevator in Israel waiting till I push the deal and then I get trampled with all of them getting on the it. That is called legalism. See, they can't even push the elevator button to get on the elevator. <laughs> and yet, they stand there saying, let this filthy Gentile pe- <laughs> push it. Well, I will tell you, I don't think I'm going to go to hell by getting on an elevator. Uh, that is not Shabbat. Shabbat is where you remember where you've come from and what all you've gone through for six days. And then you adjust your course for the next six days and let Holy Spirit do it. And if you do that, you're going to end up being healed. Your family is going to end up being healed. And I did it for eight years straight and then through all of the ministry and travel, got out of the process and got real sick. And that was what God dealt with me over. When he brought it up 20 years ago, I almost died 20 years ago. And it was, and I said, Lord, and Cindy Jacob said, this has something to do with your dad. And I thought, why in the world? I've written a whole book on restoring, uh, possessing your inheritance. And then Keith said the same thing on Sunday afternoon when I was getting ready to go back to the hospital. He said, this has to do something with daddy. I said, well, he was your daddy. Why don't you have sickness? Why aren't you sick? He said, I didn't have any emotional connection with him. You have something you know about him that that I don't know. And you have an emotional tie that you're going to have to redeem that he violated. And so I got that. I fell down on my face. I said, Lord, you have got to show me what this is. And all of a sudden, the Lord said, forget not Shabbat. And then something happened. He, see, this is how he'll, he'll do with time. He flipped me back into the past. I had come home from church with a very godly aunt I had. And my dad came by. And she said these words to him. She said, um, I haven't seen you in church in three years or so. He said, well, some people need to worship. Others of us need to work and make money. And all of a sudden, I got down and repented for him choosing that and that leading him astray and that being in our bloodline. And and then when that happened, the Lord showed me something I had done. 
I had given, uh, Pam and I came back and there was, Robert, uh, we had been gone for a couple of years from Denton. We came back and they were in debt. And the Lord told us to take all of our money and give it to them. To get the church out of debt and get it back going in the way that the Lord wanted to go. And I did it, but I, I wasn't real excited about doing it. You know, because I had spent other times giving all our money away. I mean, and I'm talking about not little amounts. All of it. So, this is about nine months later, and I'm sick and really dying. And... Uh, once I did that, the Lord said to me, and this is what I'm talking about, revelation. If you really want to come into this new season, God can reveal to you what you need to know. And the Lord said, uh, remember when I told you to give that big gift uh, to help them get back on track? I said, yes, and I obeyed you immediately he said yes you did this was in this time of year feast of tabernacles he said yes you did but you didn't do it with any joy you did it out of obedience with no joy and the joy of the of me is your strength and you've lost all yours I got up, I called, the Bible says call the elders, get them to pray for you and you'll be healed. I called and I said, y'all are going to have to come over. Three of the elders, Robert, Linda, and another elder came over. I'm laying on the floor and I share with them just what I said. And I said, and you know, when I gave y'all that big gift, I, I didn't have a lot of joy. Robert said, well, it brought us a lot of joy. <laughs> It brought us so much joy that we can pronounce your healing now. And all of a sudden, things started turning. All of a sudden, things started shifting from that moment forward. 